Well, Simon, you must be pleased with today's result. Um, you know, 3 0 against Merston. Um, give us your thoughts. Uh, yeah, very happy with the result. Obviously, it's a, psychologically, it's a massive thing. We've come out of the bottom three now. Um, with other results in the league and what have you, it's, uh, it's testament to the boys. I mean, they worked hard. I, I said to him in there, the first half wasn't good enough. Um, we didn't play or put our style of play on the game at all. Um, we rode our luck with chances that they had. But but that's the team we are, man. We're a stubborn team. And we came out second half, we changed a few things and we imposed ourselves. And I think we deserve to win the second half and I think we deserve to win the game in the end. Um, I wasn't around last week, um, but this is your second week um, in full charge of, of the, the first team squad now. Um, you're starting to put your stamp on it. You bought four new signings in this week. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about those guys? Yeah, so obviously um, Kino, who scored one of the goals, um, he was at Stadium Bridge last year. Um, good, good attacking player. I think he, he's an exciting player. He's the sort of one that gets you off your seat, sort of thing. Uh, done great today. Um, and then obviously Boris that came on right back. Um, he's been at Crawley and what have you. Gives us another option, a right back. Obviously Dan started right back today. Done fantastically well. Hasn't played necessarily a lot of football up till now, but a very composed. And I thought he'd done excellent for his debut. And then lastly Brian. I mean, he's 17 years old. He, he was on the bench for Crawley uh, last week, sort of thing. They've, they've got big hopes for him and what we're going to be able to do is give them opportunities now um, for the current squad it gives us competition which is healthy but like I said to him before the game it's not a threat it's not a punishment for bringing other players in it just gives us competition so that people realise that there's standards that we've got to start hitting at the moment as we say, it's the second game that you've had control and it's obviously a win um, you, you're clearly very happy with that what sort of stamp do you want to put on this club? Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about what your approach is going to be? <laughs> I know what I want, but people tell me to calm down, sort of thing. But um, no, listen, I think the first port of call is that we want to finish as high as we can. Uh, I think I said to someone this week, I'm not looking just to survive uh, and be full from bottom. That is, it doesn't even come into my thinking, sort of thing. Uh, the group's too good. There's too much ability, there's too much desire in that group to, to do that. I think what today's shown is that if we can stick two or three wins together, then we're actually we're a, we're a force. And probably teams that probably took us for granted probably wouldn't do now. So um, for me, it's kind of, I'm trying to keep a hold on my emotions at the moment, but I'm excited for the future. Going back to today's game, uh, we, we talk about, uh, well, you spoke earlier about the first half. Um, you obviously said something to the guys at, at half time. The first half, we did ride our luck a little bit, and um, you know, most of them had two or three good chances, especially one where their guy rounded Josh, um, yeah. but luckily yeah. we defended solid and, and kept them at bay. So, with regards to what happened in the first half, what did you turn around? What was different in the second half? Um, to come out and, and, and play so excitingly? I think it was just the fact that we changed the shape a little bit. We just tinkered with it, gave, changed the roles of a couple of players um, and really just talking to them about instead of letting other teams dictate tempo. Uh, that's what we want to do, They're, especially at home. We want to be the ones that put the tempo on the game, whether we want to slow it down or quicken it up. Um, and that's what we did second half. We got at them a lot more, got it down the sides of them, which hurt them because of playing a 3-5-2. There were gaps down the sides. Um, and, and really got people on the ball that we wanted to. People like Popey, I mean, he was outstanding again today with his work rate. Um, and I think when you've got players like Andre coming on, who've got pace and you've got um, Kino, it scares teams, so yeah, it, that's kind of how we are at the moment. One of the things that we, we do look very consistent in is our, our defence. We don't seem to give too much away. You know, when, if we lose, we don't lose by many goals. And again mm. today, mm. even in the first half, where they put us under a lot of pressure, we didn't concede. You must be happy with the way the defence are playing. Yeah. Obviously, being marshaled by a very experienced Gary Elphick. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, <laughs> I think that I'm very lucky in the fact that I've got horrible defenders. I mean, uh, Gary Elphick, I don't think, gets excited about scoring a goal. He gets excited about blocking a goal. And for to have someone like that at the back and the way Rico's playing and, and Cads and how Dan's done today is fantastic. And they'll only get better. But, I mean, today, to be honest with you, I've got to highlight Josh James. I thought he was he was the game changer for us today. And I, sometimes he doesn't get the plaudits that he deserves, but he kept us in the game. He could have been outside without him today. Well, well we move on from today. Um, as you said, we've climbed out of the relegation zone. Difficult game away on Wednesday to Leatherhead. Um, yeah. What's your approach going to be there? Um, they've obviously had a good win today. They won 4-0 four, four or 4-1 four, today. So we approach it exactly the same as we have done every game on an individual basis. Um, we've had, we've watched them. We've kind of decided how we're going to play. Um, 
it's more really how we recover from today again. Uh, and can we, what we need to do, we need to be able to do two games a week, especially in this league. And at the moment, we're we're good on a Saturday, not so great on a midweek. So that's that's what I'm identifying and trying to remedy at the moment. So that's what we've got to look at to do. Go with the same energy levels, the same desire on Wednesday, and then uh, whatever the result is, we'll see we'll see what happens. Very well, well done today. Thank good you. luck on Wednesday. Lovely, thank you. Cheers. Bye. Cheers.